guys welcome back to another fitness vlog we just oh my goodness we just finished cardio we have just switched up the program um you know this past week was really much needed as a deload week so even though i hit all my sessions this week and we had the extra addition of a cardio day um I backed off of weight big time when it came to my lifts this week. So I'm feeling so much better. I, you know, you really gotta make sure that you're paying attention to your biofeedback uh, to know what's going on. So like for myself personally, I wasn't recovering from my workouts. <clears throat> I could hardly get my ass out of bed. Like it felt like death. Like I was run over by a train. Um, so that was another big one for me. And uh, yeah, I just, I wasn't functioning at the same capacity as what I normally do and like just so, so sore. So I did make it into the Cairo. I did get massage down. I had delayed a little bit longer than what I like to for that. But now, now I'm back on regular schedule. And honestly, guys, I can't, I can't express how important it is to make sure that you're getting adequate sleep, that you're making sure that your uh, muscles are relaxed through massage, through stretch, stretching, through uh, fascial work. There's tons of different options out there to make sure that your body is working for you instead of um, against you while you're trying to put it through so much. So just something to keep in mind. I was going to go for a tan today um, because unfortunately my um, hairdresser is selling her tanning bed. She sent me a text message and she knew that it was gonna be a sad day for me, but I was understanding because I totally know what it's like. And uh, you know, they're hard to run, they honestly are. And if you can get someone else in there, um, that's that's uh, an actual profession or trade, I completely understand. So we might be doing laser now instead um, because you can't tan and do laser at the same time. And if you remember back in 2020, I started doing laser um, and then we stopped So because I was tanning. So I don't really care as much uh, this year about a tan and I would like to like not have to shave my legs and just like stuff like that that I feel like honestly the investment is, is worth the luxury in my opinion. So just something to ponder. I did get... Um, I did get a back facial done this past week and honestly guys it was so nice i'm really really happy with uh with like the overall treatment uh in and of itself like i can't believe how like smooth and like glowy like like my back just like looks clean like my husband was like holy shit babe like your back looks so clean right now um so i think i'm definitely going to keep up with it and then get it done closer to the show again too um so there's just like lots of different fun things out there i feel like that we can do to help make sure that we're looking and feeling our best and you know i'm really the kind of person who doesn't like to celebrate with with food and uh beverage uh, I think I think it's great to go out and you know still do celebrations but I don't like to use the food and beverage as the actual reward itself I think that it can be really it can be really dangerous for some people some people are great with just going and enjoying a meal as a reward um, but sometimes it can get really tricky with the the mindset patterns that it brings on of like good and bad foods and guilt and all of these different things so um you know myself personally i like to try to encourage my clients when they're celebrating their wins to go and choose something that's not food and beverage related so like you know going to the spa is one of my new favorite things to do and uh you know adulting's not so bad i tell you <laughs> sometimes at least so we have a really busy week. I got lots that I wanna show you guys. So pretty much um, it's Sunday today. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Sunday, June 5th, um, my husband is off biking, so I hope he doesn't bring any texts home with him. But we are gonna go home um, and I have some podcasting that I need to do. I have stuff for AF that I need to do uh, and we need to get all these steps in. So we're gonna go get this shit done. We're gonna carry on with the week. Um, I'll show you guys little snippets from today and then we'll carry on and see what Monday's got for us. Good morning guys it's Monday and uh, 
I didn't get to show you guys as much as what I wanted to yesterday, but that's because I spent the whole damn day cleaning. So now that the house is fucking spiffity boo, I just got to tidy up the bathrooms today. Otherwise, everything else got done. Floors, you know, floors got washed. And if you guys have a good recommendation of a vacuum, I got a Dyson. I'm going to try to see if it's still under warranty because I am so unhappy with it. It genuinely does not work. It does not work well. I just feel like suction overall with vacuums is really pathetic these days, especially if you got animals. Our, our dogs don't even shed. They're hypoallergenic, but you know, there's still like hair that gets around. Um, and like, just like fuzzies from socks and just like different stuff like that. Um, yeah, I spent like $600 on this Dyson and it doesn't even fucking work, but the cleaning got done. I just got to the gym. It's Monday morning. Um, I already did my check-in this morning and I made myself a little breakfast. So I'll show you guys here. It's really nothing special. Um, we literally just have cottage cheese, some sourdough bread and some eggs. I was really, really hungry this morning. So I wanted like a quote unquote heavier meal to get me going, um, throughout the day. So we're going to go get our leg workout on here. I don't even think I'm going to eat all of this, but I do want to get a bit of it into me. Um, Usually I would bring something typically for intra, but I was just so hungry this morning that I was like, yeah, no, I got to eat, eat before I go today. So make sure that you feed your bellies people. So let's go get on with this Monday. Um, and I'll show you guys a little snippet from check-in. You got a body that you always find. Open up a bottle. Okay, good morning, guys. It is freaking Wednesday. Um, I just ripped into the city because it seems like this entire week has been a little crazy, a little back to back, but we have made it through. I just haven't gotten through anything interesting to show you guys yet. It's been a lot of getting the house ready. Um, my mom and dad come back next week. I haven't seen them since September, since they left um, on their adventures because they're living that RV life right now. So uh, they're finally coming back for a visit. So I was getting the house ready for them. I had a whole bunch of projects that I was finishing for Authentically Fit. It's been so busy with work there. And I'm always behind on podcasting. It's like there is always something to edit, I swear to goodness. So we're going to be working on some of that. I'm also the bookkeeper for both my husband and I's uh, companies because he is also an entrepreneur. So it has been, it has been busy, guys. But now... I get to finally show you guys something exciting. So I have been up to something the past couple of weeks and I've kept it kind of on the down low, but it's time to show you guys what I've been up to. So I think it's time for us to go do that. How fun is that, right? I have been taking MMA with Jesse for the last few weeks and it's been going so fantastic. Overall, it's been a great addition of cardio into my routine and you know, we get so tired. It's funny, he actually just tagged me in a post, which I'm assuming is the video of it. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like you get so tired of doing the Stairmaster, you get so tired of doing steps and it's just such a fun way to challenge my body in different ways. And it's just so funny because from lifting to posing to MMA, I want my body to be doing all different things. So it's really good for training my muscles to, to approach things in different ways because sometimes I need to have my core drawn in, sometimes it needs to be pushed out, um, sometimes we need to extend the hips, sometimes we need to make sure that we're pushing the hips back. So there's lots of lots of lots of lots of activities that i feel like are going on in my world right now and so i'm really enjoying having this movement in different ways cardio is upped on the program right now so i just finished my 45 minutes on the stairmaster and i still got to get my steps in today but i need to go we're onboarding a new client right now and uh there's a few other book things that i want to do but I just like wish we had some shade in my backyard because then I could actually use the computer outside but it's just way too hot on the deck but it is a gorgeous day out there so let's go continue on with this day and uh, let's make it a good one. 
Okay, we are back taking a little break from work and it's time to feed myself and I wanted to show you guys what I'm eating. So I grilled some chicken breasts and uh, I actually did a really good job this time. I was very proud of myself. They are, they are juicy and moist and when you can do that, um, I feel like, you know, obviously it makes chicken that much better. But what we're doing is we're making a cucumber um, chicken fucking mustard and some of this Jolly Roger hot sauce that I never ended up showing you guys, I realized. So this is the bad boy that I highly recommend. Um, it's Jolly Rogers and it's their Verde Fresco. And I am like, mm, it is on my chicken all the time. Cucumber adds so much freshness to your meals, guys. Honestly, it's like, it's an affordable vegetable. It keeps well. It's easy to like break up if you need to. Um, so I highly recommend if you're just like not sure what to use as a as a vegetable at some point, especially if you're looking for like fillers, um, like there's so much water continents in, in cucumbers that there's like literally nil, nil <laughs> calories in it. So it's nothing that you need to worry about on the calorie side of things. So that's really nice as well. Um, but I just feel like it just adds that like fresh and crunch and it's just so, so good. So I highly recommend it for any of your sandwiches. So we're gonna slap this bad boy on there. And as you can see, it's a nice thicky. So this is not a first date sandwich. This is, shit's about to get messy, okay? But I wanted to show you guys that, uh, you know, it's not about not eating bread. It's not about not eating certain things. It's about making sure that you can find foods that agree well with your body. So like for me personally, I love a rye or sourdough bread. I just feel like it digests that much better. Usually it's limited ingredients. Usually it's really low sugar if there's any added. You guys know how it is. So um, what I was saying though, is that it's like that bread personally agrees with me so much better. So I like to stick with that, but I wouldn't go and like get a French loaf or something like that. Like I love the taste of a French loaf that much more, but it doesn't mean that a French loaf is gonna agree with me. So you just gotta like find the foods that work best for you. I personally use a dairy-free cottage cheese. I'm not at a point where I've pulled dairy. Um, from my nutrition i just like the dairy free one personally um yeah it's just it's so much creamier i don't really know what else to say on that i'm so tired guys honestly the recovery on this has been so much more difficult now that you guys know i've added mma in and then it's like my program just changed cardio just got upped and still trying to get the steps in and everything on top of everything that i have going on for for work in the podcast so it just it's been busy to say the least um but it's good it's going good and i'm just really happy that everything has been um achieved you know what i mean so i feel i feel happy with where we're at at this prep but that does not mean that your girl is not tired so i'm gonna go get the sandwich in me we're gonna carry on with the day um and who the heck knows what I, what we're up to next stop guys i Thought that I would pop on with Jeb before I hopped into the gym. It's Thursday morning, it's raining, and I am fucking hurting, guys. This recovery is non-existent, it feels like right now. I can't even believe it. I just got a notification from my phone that I'm sleeping an extra hour, and I don't know if we chatted about it already or not, but you know, like usually I'm a 5 a.m.er, and lately I've been getting up at like seven. Today was 8 a.m., guys. Like. And don't get me wrong, my, my days can go super late working too. So, um, you know, at least I'm grateful for that flexibility. But just who I am as a person, I work so much better in the early morning. Like those extra couple of hours, I can get so much done. It's just such a way to start my day off with a better tone. So I feel like, you know, each morning it's been almost like a little bit of disappointment because I didn't get my butt up early enough. But then now getting that notification and knowing that I have been sleeping an extra hour, like my body's fighting me hard right now. It's like, girl, you need sleep for recovery. Um, and that's the other part too, is that some people can function off of less sleep. I am definitely not a person that can function off of less sleep. I wish I was one of those people, but I turn into an emotional mess. It's just, it's not good overall. And the biggest thing that I want you guys to remember is that like getting to the gym is super important and making sure that you move your body and everything like that. But at the same time too, you don't want to be um, 
lacking rest because that is where all of the gains come in right we we rip our muscles while we're at the gym and we repair those tissues by sleeping and allowing our body to rest so it's important that you guys get that rest and recovery time in there i know that there's people who feel so anxious and feel like they just need to go 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 all the time um but i i swear guys the the rest is where it's at and you know obviously right now because we're almost 15 weeks out we're starting to get to crunch time everything's just getting that much more busy and when it comes to prep overall like you don't necessarily get the same rest as what you would in the improvement season right just because there's that many more things that you need to check off your list so it's really important that you are prioritizing the rest where you can have it um and everything like that so we're gonna go get our upper body workout on i'm sorry if this week wasn't like super exciting for vlogs but honestly guys it's been so crazy. That trip really, really threw me. I think what ended up happening was that even though I handled everything so well, it was so much stress, so much to deal with. And then I came back to so much, dealt with all of that. Um, and even though I kept myself high in spirits, I got to a point where I finally just burnt out. Um, and I think it was like the second day after I was back. Cause like when I was back, it was like up early in the morning, going to the gym again, like nothing had changed. And then all of a sudden I just crashed and then now the last two weeks I can physically feel how hard um, my body is is trying to recover so I just got to keep listening to it try to get in sleep where I can because at the end of the day you know you can't you can't beat yourself up that your body is looking for more recovery and now knowing that I'm um, doing MMA I have cardio I have steps and then I have my fucking intense workouts on top of that um, it, it ends up being a lot that your body needs to recover from. So enough chat about recovery. I need to go get my workout on. But yeah, I guess I was just saying that I didn't. I'm not too sure how this video is going to compile for you guys. Um, they will be more put together, I hope, as the weeks come. But you think that too. And it's just like, life is such a fucking gong show half the time, guys. And that's what ended up happening too was like, Monday ended up being just this massive rush and then Tuesday was too and I had to drop my girlfriend off at the airport and I wanted to be at the gym prior to that but I didn't and then I go to go drop her off at the airport right when I'm dropping her off she gets a notification that her fucking flight's cancelled but like the she had a layover and it was like the second flight that got cancelled so she could still go and I was like okay hopefully you guys like still heard all that because my low battery just popped up so I don't know where we left off damn it Sarah okay so we were okay maybe I'm gonna stop this and we're gonna come back real quick here we back and in case you ever have that happen to you like your low battery pops up while you're recording apparently it still keeps recording for you so her second flight is canceled but I'm like hey you can still go no biggie I need to rip to MMA but then like he had actually messaged me an hour earlier on Instagram saying that unfortunately there's a mix-up on the mats so we were gonna have to move it to a different day which was no biggie but I don't have my social notifications on because I am just trying to keep myself focused so it's been like months without having like Facebook or Snapchat or um, Instagram on so like if anybody messages me I don't actually know um, which can be very helpful, but also not helpful in situations like that. But luckily I caught it right before I went there. So then I called my girlfriend and I was like, oh my God, MMA just got canceled. Like, do you need a ride? Are you okay? And she's like, no, it's all good. I can still fly through. So she was all good to go. And then I came back home and then like just kept ripping on trying to get shit done because the day got flip flopped or I went to the gym and then continued on. So it's just kind of been like a bit of a different week. Um, but this kind of shit happens with life, you know what I mean? And <clears throat> you can have all the plans in the world, especially when it comes to prep. You can have all the plans in the world um, and life might have other ones for you and you just got to roll with the punches sometimes. So, you know, I had this idea of how this whole vlog was going to look in my head. Um, and let's be honest, it did not turn out that way, but that is okay. So we're just going to keep rolling, rolling with life. And this gives you guys an actuality of like, you know people like go to start a workout program or they go to do prep or you know all these different things that they go to go do and they think that it's just going to be easy and that life isn't going to challenge them and that if it if life does challenge them then it's just them and it's like no guys this shit happens to everybody I, i'm sorry you're not that special it, it literally this shit happens to everybody so i never want any of us to be like oh why does this shit happen to me that is never never a good attitude to take 
We always want to try to take responsibility for as much as we can um, because that allows you to be in control of your life instead of feeling like external is in control of you, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Good chat now. We're going to, we're going to close this one down guys. Um, before I just go rambleton on you and I'm going to go get this workout done. Okay. 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 All right, we are all showered up now, got some work done, and now we are continuing on this recovery by going to the chiropractor, okay? So luckily I have, I swear, one of the best chiropractors around and he really is just like a physiotherapist and a trainer and a chiropractor and just like an all around genius mixed into one. And it's really just great when you have people that are passionate about their trade. And you know, for me as a personal trainer, I really do love working with other professionals, especially when it comes to clients and making sure that you're gathering opinions from all the professionals um, to get the bigger picture about your client. And it's just nice having somebody where I can learn from him along the way. Um, and honestly, my my body's been in some rough shape so I've been struggling really bad with something constantly going out in my neck so we need to keep that bad boy going back in and I've always struggled with my hips you know I've been going to the chiropractor since I was a kid and so I've had many different experiences and I can tell you that it's nice because he wants you to take the rehab with you so that you aren't going to see him all the time um, because so much of what we're doing in our day-to-day -day is what's getting us hurt like don't get me wrong is lifting hard on the body is it easy for you to impinge yourself when you're lifting a lot of weight absolutely um, but the biggest thing is is that we sit like assholes on the day-to-day -day, right we we slouch and uh, like even our, our walking posture because we have weak glutes and weak cores and you know it just it really isn't favorable for us and then like down texting like this all the time right so um, we got to be really conscious about what we're doing on the day to day and I always say to my clients like it's always the dumb shit that we're doing where we end up hurting ourselves really fucking bad right like you're reaching into the into the fridge for a jam a jar or you know bending down to pick up this box that really shouldn't be uh, breaking your back but it does right just just stuff that we got to be careful of and that's what I love about fitness so much is that you're able to take so many of your exercises um, and apply them to your day-to-day -day movements and make sure that they are uh, fundamental to what what you do on the day-to-day -day. and it's just cool with my different clients of being able to give suggestions of what they're doing at work especially if it's physical labor um, that helps them overall of you know maybe constant motions and positionings where they could be in a more favorable position and because they haven't been now they are noticing a lot of um, negative changes with that muscle or area over time um, so it's really important that especially if you are doing like repetitive movements at work and you've been doing it for quite a few years now and you're starting to notice oh my shoulder's really bothering me or whatever um, really pay attention to that because because that might be the sign and you know I came from from desk work well I guess I still do a lot of desk work at home and it's like sitting like an asshole in my chair right and like crossing my legs and just so many so many bad posture habits uh, that we do that we need to be conscious of um, so that we can refrain from having to go to the chiropractor and things like that right even though um, Curtis from E3 is happy to help me um, I know that uh, he doesn't want to see me all the time either. So it's fair because I don't want to see him all the time either. So I'm going to go get this Cairo appointment in. 
I think I might be able to bring you guys in for future appointments um, and just show you guys what kind of gets done, especially if you're not used to um, a chiropractor that really looks after everything. So I am going to ask him to make sure that this is cool for future and uh, maybe we'll pop, you, pop him in um, on one of the future videos, okay? So um, I also have a podcast with him. I just wanna note this as well. So go to Naked in Truth um, and go and listen. I don't know what episode it is, but it's uh, Dr. Curtis uh, Gribba from E3. So it's worth a listen. Okay, we are just in between vacuums right now and I wanted to talk to you guys about vacuums because I think it goes along with recovery overall, especially for the fact that a lot of us aren't engaging our transverse abdominis properly. And so for me myself, that was actually a really weak area for me. And so I was really struggling with vacuums at the beginning of my journey, but now that I have been able to strengthen that muscle more, um, the ability to be able to not only just contract the muscle but to contract and hold right because I think a lot of people get confused with vacuums and you know I think a lot of girls are really proud of how small their waist looks when they suck in but it's like can you suck in and hold and be able to still continue to breathe while you're doing this for up to 60 seconds right and that's the biggest control factor that I think a lot of people miss is that they think that it's all about just like making your waist look as small as it can but you need to be able to then engage that muscle and hold it there so you guys can see that in the video that I'm doing so I really feel like that's something that we can all practice on together and if you guys have any questions just let me know because it is something that takes time to build up the other thing is is that I do majority of my breathing through my nose for that exercise just to challenge um, those core muscles that much more. And then the last thing that I do, which sounds crazy and makes me look crazy, but I actually try to smile while I'm doing it because when you think about what we're doing on stage, we need to be able to hold these muscles <laughs> in position for sometimes what feels like a very long time and you got hot lights on you, you know what I mean? So you need to make sure that you're able to have that control but still have the facial expression on your face. So I try and smile while I do my vacuums as well. And I know that I look like a crazy person, but you know what? The girl's gotta do what she's gotta do. So we're gonna continue on with this upper body day after vacuums and then I do have a cardio session that I need to get done after this as well. So let's go get on with this session. And this is my loyal face, I do almost anything Serious girl, I don't play no games I wanna take you out, freak you out Bust my gun and take the charge As long as you say my name Every time I break you off, girl, I'll Give you what you want, want. <laughs> Cause your love is all me I'ma turn you on, on. <laughs> When all the things I do When all the Gotta love that little tripsy poo, am I right? Like seriously, my mom should have named me Grace, but I hope that you guys had a good time learning about recovery on this video, how important it is, how you can incorporate it into your life and some key indicators that you should look out for. So I'm gonna make sure that I continue to take care of this body because I had a fabulous sleep last night. So I am feeling top notch. I finally woke up not feeling tired. I had a great sesh at the gym. Everything is just feeling really good right now. So just remember guys, that recovery time is so important. And this is going to conclude this week's vlog. So you know that I will catch you next week.